Well, it is bound to happen with so many vehicles being stolen in Omaha. This time the thieves face gunfire. Brian Mastery is live with the latest on this morning's shooting and the legal implications of protecting property with gunfire. He joins us now live from the newsroom. Brian. Lauren, this summer car thefts in Omaha compared to last year exploded. Just in the month of June, for example, 200% more this year than last. And 40% of those are Kias and Hyundais, cars that can be started with a USB phone charging cable. Well, this morning, Omaha police say two male teenagers, both 14 years old, tried to steal this blue Kia Soul near 40th and Ames. It was four in the morning. The crime scene stretched for a couple of blocks. One teen had been shot. The other got hurt seemingly while either trying to break into the car or get away from the gunfire. Both were treated and released at the hospital. I'm told charges are pending. We're also told the shooter, who's believed to have a connection to the Kia that was being stolen, was not at the scene when officers arrived. In fact, they're still looking for him. Well, we certainly don't know all the circumstances, but legal experts I talked with this afternoon say the law is clear here. You can't use deadly force to stop the theft of property. Now, what we don't know is if the teens were armed. Did they threaten his life in some way and gunfire was self-defense? There are several parts of this story that aren't yet clear and need to be sorted out. But it did make us think of a case from back in May here at 40th and Vinton. In that case, a 15 year old was apparently trying to steal a Jeep at 3.30 in the morning, was shot by the owner. I checked court records this afternoon. The vehicle's owner hasn't faced any charges in connection to the shooting. However, he ended up being arrested on unrelated drug charges. Again, getting a car stolen, it's frustrating. It can be costly, but legal experts say you can't use deadly force to protect it unless you feel for your life. Live in the newsroom, Brian Mastry, 6 News.